Hi, actors. It's Wendy Elaine Wright, the Hollywood talent manager in Los Angeles, California. And I wanted to talk to you today about what not to do in auditions and why these things make casting directors secretly cringe when you do them in the audition room. So I'm going to just list a whole bunch of things I don't want you to do when you go to audition. One, when you walk into the audition room, do not shake their hand. Casting directors see hundreds of people every day and they don't want germs from every single person. So, you know, resist your, your effort to reach out to them and connect with them by touching them. Instead, just have a warm, open, positive, friendly smile and a positive energy and that's welcoming enough. Um, two, when you get in the room, don't fudge around with your purse and not know where to put your stuff down and, you know, just pick a spot on the floor, put your stuff down and get on your mark and be ready to do your audition. Also, when you get into the audition room, do not talk to them about like um, your personal life, anything that's happened to you that day. If you had a bad day, do not discuss it. Do not talk about your pet died or, you know, it was really hard to get out of your job to get that audition and, you know, um, you're not in a good mood, you had a fight with your boyfriend, none of this kind of stuff. You're, the casting director wants to see that you're an acting professional. They never want to hear about your personal life. So do not go in there and start talking about yourself and the problems or your feelings or your emotions or none of that, okay? You're there just to show the amazing choices that you've made with your character and give it 100% uh, commitment to the audition material. That's it. And to show them that you're happy, friendly, positive, and professional. Okay? Other than that, keep your mouth shut. Um, also, keep the sides with you in your hand. Casting directors don't want to worry about whether you're going to forget your lines and if they're going to have to wait for you to pick up your script and find it and remember your line. Just Even if you memorize it, and you should, you should have the, the sides, uh, the script, the sides in your hand at all times. Um, I always let you know take a take a script reading class so that you uh, uh, audition class so that you know the techniques of keeping your thumb near your lines while you're reading uh, as you could scoop down pick up a line and come back up without breaking character or without losing the momentum or the intention or the energy that you're doing. Um, okay, so listen when you first get to your audition when you're when you're at home let's let's but let's backtrack let's go all the way to you get your sides the night before memorize them for your audition memorize them. If you have no time to memorize them, memorize the gist of it, the meaning of it, your, and make your choices, your intention, uh, your, you know, what the character wants, what the character doesn't want, what the character is afraid of, what the character wants you to know, doesn't want you to know, all the things that propel the action or the, the dialogue in the, character, in the uh, scene. Make all those choices, even if you don't memorize it. But you really should memorize the script before you come in. But if you get 10 pages the night before and you can't memorize it, at least do all the homework. Do the backstory on the character. Read the entire script. Find out what that character is about. Make the choices for your scene. Uh, get coached on it. So make sure you have a list of coaches that you can call on at the moment you need them. Don't wait till you get an audition and then be like, oh, I need a coach, who do I see? You need to have that now. If you don't have an audition today, start working on your list of coaches. Um, so now you're working on your material, etc. You're ready to get your clothes laid out the night before, figure out what you're going to wear, um, and dress to suggest the character that you're playing. Don't dress in, an out, in a costume or, you know, if it's a hooker, don't dress like a hooker. If it's a doctor, don't dress like a doctor. Or if it's a police officer, don't dress like a police officer. Dress to suggest, okay? Um, then leave for your audition early enough to get there early. You want to get to your audition relaxed and comfortable and peaceful. So you don't want to be stressed out um, getting there late or getting there just on time and then racing up there and then being late, all that will make for a lousy audition because the energy that you have will come out in the room and it will turn people off. So be professional. That means get there early. Find a spot that you can sit down by yourself and just focus on what you're going to do in the audition room. Don't waste your time in the audition area talking with other actors and getting intimidated by maybe they've booked things you haven't or they're trying to psych you out with negativity or whatever or you're just picking up the vibe of other actors. You don't need to do that. So going into a casting director's office with negative energy from the, the room, um, 
around you will just make an, a, a casting director just like, ugh, cringe, like, ugh, you know, I don't even want to be around this person. Um, too, too negative. And you don't want that because people hire people they like. Casting directors cast people they like. And directors and producers want to cast people that they're going to want to work with over and over, year after year, month after month, you know, in a series or whatever for long periods of time. So don't be one of those complainy, whiny, negative people in the audition room that makes everyone cringe in the audition room. And you don't want that because they won't call you back and you certainly won't get the job. Okay, um, so just stay out in the in the audition in the audition holding area. Be positive and and just affirm that you're just you're good enough and you be really prepared. You know, like rehearse and practice and memorize and then just get in there and be calm and happy and yourself. Um, that's the best advice I can give you today for how to have a successful audition and not to make the people in the room feel uncomfortable or cringe when you walk in the room, okay? So that's just a small tip for today. If you want more tips from me, watch the rest of my videos. Go to my blog, Secrets of a Hollywood Talent Manager. Uh, dot com or go to my website secrets of Hollywood Talent Manager dot com and uh, stay close to me. I have your back. See you later.